you you may have heard in all the debate about this that Paul wrote these words when Nero was uh, when Nero was the emperor, and Nero was one of the great dirtbags of history, uh, and that's true enough. But the first few years of Nero's reign, uh, he was pretty stable. He was not he was not a persecutor and not not a bad guy. That's when uh, Seneca, the philosopher, was still his advisor, and Seneca sort of had his foot on the brake. And but Paul saw trouble coming. And you, you have to understand that the man who wrote Romans 13 was subsequently beheaded by the Romans, be, and, and they did not behead him because they thought he was a model citizen, <laughs> right? Um, so uh, another passage is 1 Peter 2. Um, 1 Peter 2 t- says that we're to be in subjection to rulers and authorities. Well, Peter the man who wrote those words, disappeared from the book of Acts, a wanted man. Uh, Paul, the the writer of Romans 13, ran a roadblock in Damascus, and and, uh, his picture was up in all the post offices as a wanted man, and he was lowered in a basket from the city wall and got away. So basically, you you have to grapple with the idea that Peter and Paul, the men who told us to be good citizens, were, had a different view of good citizenship than the craven and compliant Christians of today. 